Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, I've had quite a nice little week of not really paying attention to the news and kind of being disconnected um, from everything. Just, you know, hanging out with my wife and kicking it. <laughs> but uh, I wanted to make a video about um, the pendulum of history, as my one of my history professors would have or does define it as that uh, throughout time either through violence or war or aggression um, natural disasters so on and so forth history either affects uh, or society as it's as it's going forward either toes a, a middle line or it's out of the extreme side and history is just swinging back and forth as time goes on is it swinging left and right yeah swinging left and right both politically and and every other which way um, but things that are perceived and sometimes it swings quickly and sometimes it swings slowly uh, an example of a swinging quickly would be during World War two the pendulum swing very far to one side of, of aggression and death and destruction and so on and so forth but then it quickly swinged to the other side when there was lots and lots of rebuilding, um, an industrial boom in most countries that were destroyed by the uh, by World War II. The systems of government changed, um, some worse, some for the better. And even within different parts of the world, you saw different changes. Take Japan, for example. Japan had a, an amazing resur resurgence. Same with France and Germany because, um, you know, they had so much damage during World War II. But then you take, uh, take areas like Africa. Africa, they didn't swing nearly as far back in, in any direction other than the changing of uh, different government setups in countries in that particular time. The United States, though, we swung slower than the other countries because we were physically disconnected from the destruction, but we reaped all the benefits of, of a rampant industrial growth because of the industrial need of our, of our building of different, you know, mechanized war machines, right? But the point of this, uh, this pendulum is that it's always wanting to get to the middle. It's always wanting to seek the middle. So the question I, that I usually pose for myself is, I, I like to think that I am more towards the realist side of things, the middle of the pendulum, than I am one of, and it's not the term extremist that is outside the pendulum, you know, on the far swing, it's, a, it's an idealist. An idealist would be the person that, that has a, a very, not black and white sense, but a very logical response um, to how things should be versus I see myself more practically somewhere in between middle and somewhere in between one of the, the extreme angles because I know that, well, again, this is personal belief stuff. Everybody has a different opinion on this kind of stuff. Um, but my personal belief is that Kind of like I said in that previous, uh, in one of the previous videos, that humans are uh, predisposed to seek mediocrity, and I, uh, I kind of attribute mediocrity to that finding or pulling the pendulum of history down to the middle, trying to stop it, trying to pull it to a stop, and get things to just all right, and that, you know, satisfies 80% of the of the populace, whereas. You know that other 20% are the ones that are the movers and the shakers and get that pendulum rocking back and forth. But by and large, the people that are and uh, Captain Burge used the term sheeple, which God, I love that word. I love that word sheeple. There's nothing wrong with sheeple. There's, there isn't. There's nothing wrong with that because you know, um, depending on what circle, this is a just a tangent. Depending on what circle you travel in, um, I'm sure that you know most people come off as sheeple to other folks. Um, you know, my dad is a, is a, an airplane mechanic for you know a large. Uh, 
a large airline and I bet a lot of people he talks to and see you know in their day-to-day -day lives when he's flipping through news channels and sees a story about such and such uh, airliner had such and such problem with such and such part or it was an airline crash with such you know I'm sure he looks at that and goes man these are some you know these are sheeple the way that they understand and conceptualize the logistics it's logistics that usually separate somebody that you know is quite knowledgeable from somebody that is just a book learned uh, person and uh, so it goes for it goes for anybody you know a lot of people here that are into firearms they look at you know the, the general masses that call magazines clips and they call them sheeple right so now that I <laughs> now that I've totally forgot what my original point was with that tangent um, oh I, I think the point is that 80 percent or more of the people want to pull things to the middle they want to slow it down they want to make it just good enough and those are uh, quote unquote sheeple that's I think the term that uh, Captain Burris uses rightfully so doesn't mean that they're dumb it means that they're they want a happier time with less struggle and less complication and not be meek. Well, I'm sorry, they want to be more meek than they want to be, you know, the, the wolf that preys on the sheep. And so the other 20%, the other 20% that are made up of partially wolves and partially other, you know, type A personalities or highly motivated people, they're moving the pendulum whether or not they uh, they know they're consciously doing it throughout time and history. So anyway, the pendulum of history, something to, something to think about. Um, of course, like anything else, these are just personal thoughts and opinions on things. So take it for what it's worth. All right, guys, take it easy. Bye.